Thank you for joining us today. I'm Louise Keller, National Training Manager for UEI Test Instruments. And joining us is Mark Jones, our local representative in Indiana, all about UEI Test Instruments. And today we wanna to talk a little bit about some new kits that we came out with for, for you. And Mark, do you wanna talk a little bit about the importance before we kind of talk about the, the individual kits for us? Sure, well, you know, one thing, the reason we drove this is, you know, we're seeing an increasing number of manufacturers that are including startup sheets. Uh, you know, when you start that new piece of equipment up, that there's things they want you to document, readings and so forth, so that you know that when you set that equipment up initially, uh, that it was operating within the proper parameters. So basically what we've done is, is we've taken those sheets and developed some kits uh, around what you need to give that proper reading uh, because it's right, you know, isn't what you want to document. Exactly, exactly. And we, we have some core things uh, that are similar amongst the two kits that we came out for the, the cooling season. So let's talk a little bit about why each of these components are really important. Um, and we'll start out with the core components that are in our 510 kit and move on to what makes the 511 kit. So Mark, what's that first one that I see up in front of you right yeah. now? Well, the first one here is we've got our new DL579 series meter, uh, which uh, that series now is a uh, true RMS. So we've got mm -hmm. that. 579, so with your equipment with ECM motors uh, or variable speed compressors, things of that nature, uh, that true RMS feature is going to give you an accurate reading uh, when you're dealing with that. Or if you do commercial work, uh, you're working with a variable frequency drive. Uh, that's also an application. Uh, these are also able to capture inrush current. So with that equipment initially starting up, it'll capture and hold that so you can see what that is. Uh, we've increased the speed that it will read capacitance. So for checking that capacitor, uh, you've also got uh, temperature and we've got a low Z function on that as well. Excellent. Well, those sound like some great features as well as that dual display, single temperature um, and built-in test lead holders. It sounds like a pretty complete meter to me. Uh, moving on, the next component that makes up our cooling kits is our RLD-15B. It is an HUL certified refrigerant leak detector that has field replaceable sensors for you. You can see it has a nice long gooseneck on it as well as it does an audible and a visual uh, alert uh, to let you know if you have a refrigerant leak. Great. Well, you know, you, you comment on the A2L certified, you know, mm -hmm. there's a difference sometimes, you know, when you look at your different equipment, you know, while that's A2L certified, we do have our hub, that is A2L refrigerant compatible. Correct. So, and that's what you yep. need on your gauges is to be compatible. Correct. This one already has over 100 refrigerants preloaded in it uh, with the most common types of A2Ls already ready to go. But there's some unique features on this product. Do you want to talk a little bit about what yep. makes the Hub 8 so special? Yep. One of those is when we're talking about those new refrigerants. Because the refrigerants are part of the app that you download to interface with this, you don't have to send this in and have it updated when new refrigerants come out. That's just an over-the-air update to your app, so that makes it nice. But what we've got is we've got wireless uh, pressure probes, which have a access fitting here, so you don't have to add another T when you need to, to add refrigerant, or if you're pulling a vacuum, you've got an access port there. We also have the wireless temperature probe that clamps on your line. So now we've got our, both our uh, pressure and temperature, which allow us to calculate our superheat and subcool. We've also got temperature or air probes that go in that measure temperature, humidity, allow us to calculate enthalpy and dew point as well. And then uh, this kit also includes our outdoor temperature sensor so that we've got our target uh, subcooling or superheat super mm -hmm. based on our outdoor temperature. And we have a micron gauge. So when we're pulling our vacuum, we know that we've got a good vacuum, got all the moisture on the system. Uh, we've got a leak rate indicator on there as well uh, to help us determine if we're still getting moisture out of the system or if maybe we've got a leak and fitting that we didn't get tight or what have you. To, uh, back the system. Yep, and that all runs to a really sleek app that you can preview at our website at ueitest.com. So those are the components that make up our 510 uh, kit. We also went one step further and we've introduced the 511 kit. So that 511 kit includes all of the goodness that you saw here but we add in our EM201 SP kit, which is a manometer that does plus or minus 60 inches in the water column for you. But it also includes the pressure probes because we know being able to measure the static pressure and the duct pressure is increasingly important, especially in the newer systems that are coming out. 
So those are our two kits that we have that are in the cooling. So if you have any other questions or maybe you want to reach out and know a little bit more, you can reach out to me at Louise K at ueitest.com or our fine friends here at Jackson Systems. You can visit their website and they'll be happy to help you.